welcome back again today we are going to continue our discussion on properties of permutations uh, this is uh, i think uh, the last lecture on properties of permutation i think this is a fourth part so uh, until now we we discussed so many thing about uh, uh, permutation that uh, a permutation can be written as a in terms of cycle disjoint cycles and then we also uh, uh, got the way how a permutation can be written as product of two cycles fine uh, that is a transposition okay fine so uh, the in the last lecture we were uh, uh, discussing or uh, we were proving that uh, nature of identity permutation okay nature of identity permutation that is uh, the identity permutation is even okay and uh, uh, we defined what we mean by even permutation and what is we mean by all permutations fine uh, so for this uh, we started the proof but uh, somehow we could not complete this study so today uh, i will start from beginning how to prove this okay uh, we will be discussing this uh, re, uh, pr um, proof of this uh, result identity permutation is even and then we will be talking about uh, something alternating uh, alternating groups uh, of course i have written a4 but uh, don't we will be talking about in general uh, uh, alternating group uh, an and its order okay so that's what uh, we are supposed to do today. And uh, of course, if time permits, then we will be continuing. Uh, we'll be taking some uh, exercise problems too. Fine. OK, so let us start proof. So uh, we started uh, the proof of this permutation. Uh, and uh, in this connection, we, I, we have also taken some example how we need to proceed for this. OK. So if we are considering uh, the identity transformation, so uh, the identity transformation, the identity uh, identity transformation uh, or permutation, I'm sorry, identity permutation, identity permutation written as I, uh, this can be written as, uh, can be written as, I equals to uh, one two and one two. Of course, uh, every two cycle is a self inverse that we know. Okay, and therefore uh, I is even. And one thing we know that uh, uh, every permutation, I, uh, any permutation, either. Uh, it, uh, it is uh, odd always or it is even always fine but therefore i is even because we have uh, written it as a product of two transpositions fine okay is even so now what we will try we will try to show that i cannot be odd fine i cannot be odd that is identity transformation cannot be odd from this what we conclude that uh, i is even but uh, uh, simultaneously, we need to claim that I cannot be odd. Fine. OK. So now we saw that. Now we saw that. I that is identity transformation. Cannot be. Odd. For this. Uh, we will uh, be assuming something that is uh, let us assume that uh, i is an uh, odd trans odd uh, permutation and then after that we need to get some uh, contradiction fine for this let us write uh, the identity permutation is ck ck minus one and so on and then uh, c2 and c1 where 
सी आई आर सी आई आर ट्रांसपोजिशन आर ट्रांसपोजिशन एंड के इज एंड ऑड इंटीजर fine so it means to say uh, i mean to say that uh, we have assumed that uh, i let us suppose that i can be written as a product of odd number of transposition and then this would imply that i is a, an odd permutation okay so uh, then we then uh, we need need to have have uh, uh, or arrive at we need to we need to we we have to arrive at then now uh, we uh, have to arrive at some contradiction so i am using the process of method of contradiction fine contradiction i think uh, i this is spelled this one okay contradiction contradiction so let uh, c uh, this is not c like uh, we have written this is a, these are capital c c k c k minus 1 c 2 c 1 and this is small c uh, b a symbol you can take any symbol uh, b a symbol be a symbol that appears that appears in cr but not in any cj right to cr fine that is uh, what we can what i am saying that uh, we have written i equals to ck ck minus 1 dot 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 and then we have here a cr plus 1 here cr then here cr minus 1 dot 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 and then we have c2 and then we have c1 fine so what uh, we are assuming that uh, we are letting some symbol uh, c that is appearing here in this one but uh, c is not here c is not in this okay uh, c symbol c is not appearing is not appearing none of them right to cr fine but in uh, uh, in the left to cr and in cr there Uh, maybe cycles in which c is appearing and uh, in that from extreme right if you say from extreme right uh, cr is the first cycle that is transposition in which c is appearing okay and c may appear in any of these but let us see let us uh, explore the possibility where c exactly can uh, appear and where it cannot appear okay here uh, here c small c cannot appear in ck that is if you say that uh, uh, c is appearing here in ck extreme right that is uh, in cr or i can say in ck equals to cr or i must say let us uh, uh, let us me be, be more clear oh, sorry let it be more clear uh, that uh, i don't know so there is some problem uh, in between it is hanging here r cannot be equals to c uh, 
k uh, because it means uh, because uh, it means it means that uh, c cannot appear in uh, ck minus 1 ck minus 2 and then uh, c2 and c1 none of them in any of them it cannot appear because by assumption we are taking c is appearing first from the right in cr and if we put r equals to k then it means cr is nothing but ck and a right to it uh, there are so many cycles two cycles ck minus 1 ck minus 2 and so on in which c cannot appear it means that uh, all these are fixing okay c k minus 1 c k minus 2 c 2 c 1 they are fixing c fine uh, you know that uh, suppose i'm writing 1 2 3 4 and uh, then if i if i say uh, uh, what is the image of 5 here then you will say that uh, sir 5 is fixed here okay that is 5 goes to 5 so that is the same so c is appearing here in this one and uh, C is not appearing in any of uh, these CK minus 1, CK minus 2, C2 and C1. Uh, it is not appearing. So they will be fixing C. OK. So. Uh, therefore. Therefore, C small c is. Fixed by. CK minus 1, CK minus 2, C2 and C1 by all. OK. And a CK is two cycle and if we have assumed that R, R equals to K. So this is two cycle. It means suppose C is appearing and some element, another element X is there or D is there. Fine. It means what C goes to D and D goes to C and other products what are uh, which are there in the right side to it they are fixing c it means that c doesn't uh, c is not mapped to c and d is also not mapped to d it means and then we are saying that in the left hand side we have identity is it possible not possible because uh, if i say it is identity it, it means that uh, every element should be mapped onto self okay so, uh, so uh, therefore c is fixed by ck c minus k c yes, c k minus 1 c k minus 2 c 2 and c 1 fine and uh, and so right hand side can to be identity identity as two cycle sing two cycle never fixes c so if uh, we are left with uh, c is appearing only here then it will never fix c fine so this means uh, our assumption is wrong that is uh, uh, cr or ck cannot be the first cannot be the first or only uh, only two cycle in which C appearing and none of them C is appearing. Fine. So this would imply that R that is uh, this R. What if we say that this R if I say the index index is increasing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So R should be less than K. R should be less than K. Fine. Okay. So now let so there is we discarded one possibility that uh, c r cannot be equals to c k that is uh, mean that means to say that uh, c r cannot be equals to r cannot be equals to k okay so now let uh, uh, c r this is equals to c d suppose this is of the form c d 
OK, C is appearing here in this one. C is appearing. OK, so I have assumed that uh, this is a two cycle of this form C D. OK, D is some another element or other symbol. Then. Uh, then because C is not appearing uh, here. In this part, so we, uh, if I uh, take composition or multiply these them, then C will be fixed always. There is no problem or there is no fun in multiplying uh, this with them in respect to C. Fine. So if C is there, then uh, there would be something interesting. So what would be the possibility for C R plus one? Then a C R plus one may have the following possibilities. Following possibilities, following possibilities or choice possibilities or choices. So what is the choice? It may be X y type some cycle of course this is going to be cr plus one is going to be a two cycle or second choice may be uh, xd and it, you please remember that uh, you can write it is xd or dx it doesn't matter fine you can write xd or dx it doesn't matter both are the same only because in xd x map to d and d map to x so if you are writing otherwise dx then uh, Image and pre-image will be the same only, okay, as a XD represent. So other possibility, some C and Y, and then a fourth one, it may be exactly like CD, like CR, fine, for some XY distinct from C and D. Fine. OK. So you may you may say that, uh, sir, you have taken D X D, then you can take D X D X also. But thing is that both are the same only. So I have a uh, uh, we, we need to avoid repetition. OK, so these are the possibilities. Then. C R and uh, C R plus one and CR, the product of this, OK? Uh, product of uh, CR plus one and CR uh, may be alternatively can be written as, written as. So let us see how we can write them. So what are the possibilities? Uh, some first x y okay first possibilities was x y so x y and then in the right i need to keep c d fine because x y are distinct from c d so they will commute c d and then x y okay and then uh, and there are possibilities uh, x d so here if i write x d and then in the right hand side c d okay so uh, this can be written as uh, XC. You can verify it and XD. OK. And then we have possibility, another possibility Y, sorry, CY. Uh, CY and then a CD. We are keeping the this one CR and this is CR plus one. So four possibilities for uh, for CR plus one. And uh, we have assumed that a CR equals to CD. So this is equals to CD and then in the next bracket we have DY. And then CD and then CD. And this is equals to identity. Fine, because it's self inverse. So in all these uh, you know, product, what we have done? Uh, this uh, C is appearing in the rightmost product. Right mode, uh, rightmost uh, uh, two cycle fine, but in alternate way when we have written this, so you can see there is no C, there is no C in this also, there is no C. Of course, this is identity. Uh, all right. So what we are doing, 
here if you have two cycle and c is appearing somewhere here so we are shifting it to here okay and we are writing something like this uh, something here of course there is no c and c but here somewhere c is there and then some element is there fine some element is there okay so what we are doing we are shifting we are shifting c from here to here in the less left okay so that in the rightmost uh, product rightmost uh, to cycle c is not there rightmost product c is not there okay so what we can do uh, so wh what we have done until now so this is a i identity equals to c k and then c k minus 1 and dot 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 and then we have a uh, c r minus 2 and then here we have c r uh, i think uh, something i have written no no okay c r minus plus 1 c r plus 2 is there and then c r plus 1 would be there and uh, there are these many possibilities are there okay and then we have c r plus 1 and then we have c r c r minus 1 c2 and c1 so what we uh, we have done we have find alternate way of writing this uh, product so that uh, something like this suppose uh, if you write it uh, beta r plus 1 okay and it is you are writing beta r so that uh, in beta r beta r doesn't beta r doesn't contain c fine so now if you see uh, we have a new product kind of thing fine we have a new product kind of thing this is equals to ck ck minus 1 and then c r plus 2 and then we have the r plus 2 then we have a beta r plus 1 and then we have beta r and dot 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 and then c2 and c1 fine so now you see that uh, here we found one more uh, you know, two cycle in which c is not appearing now c is appearing here fine and we will continue we will take these two and do the similar thing what we have done here here what we have done here and we will continue until we reach here in the beginning okay are you getting this one hello hello Yes, sir. in each uh, in each of uh, these uh, these c moves c moves one transposition transposition left eventually eventually we reach it at uh, cd and cd which equals identity and if not and if not so finally uh, we will be continuing this way and then uh, c will be either we will be getting this kind of thing here suppose cd and cd has come then uh, it means that uh, they are going to be identity but they will be removed in pairs they will be removed in pairs when they are we are uh, dealing like this okay when we are dealing like this they will be removed in pairs so we, when we are getting like this then uh, they will be giving in us uh, identity so the identity will come as a product of two cycles two uh, two two cycles fine like cd and cd kind of thing okay and if not and if not suppose if are, we are not uh, getting this kind of thing then what would happen if not then c would uh, appear c would appear in the ck that is in the beginning fine in the beginning ck 
सी के ओनली विच कंट्राडिक्स कंट्राडिक्स द एजेंशन एजेंशन व्हाट एजेंशन एजेंशन दैट एजेंशन दैट राइट हैंड साइड इज आइडेंटिटी identity right hand side of uh, you can you can give some number to it right side this one this is identity of one you can write okay uh, right hand side of one is identity fine so as uh, before we have done here you can see when uh, we have taken c r equals to k then what we got we got uh, if uh, in this case uh, ck will be appearing on only in this here so it will other uh, two cycle will be fixing it fine so this is the problem okay so this is a one uh, one we have taken one element and then uh, we have proceeded uh, from left to, uh, from right to left okay from right right to left to move uh, move c uh, one step left okay one step left okay continuing this then we take uh, another element like this and we will continue continuing this and uh, replacing replacing each pair each pair of the form cd and cd by identity at last we have a, a single transposition we have single transposition representing the identity the identity which is not possible uh, because uh, once we have a uh, identity you have written like this ck and ck minus 1 and dot 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 and then you got something here a beta r plus 1 and dot 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 and c2 and c1 suppose here uh, uh, C C R plus two was there. Fine. So you shifted C here and then here and then you are continuing, and because you are removing them in pair, and these k are in numbers in odd numbers. These k uh, that is k is odd. You know k is odd. Fine. K is odd, and you are removing them in pairs. Fine. So. Uh, If suppose the value of k is a uh, uh, k is suppose twenty uh, one, okay, and then you are removing from them uh, some uh, cycles, but they are uh, they are removed in pairs, okay. So suppose you are removing ten cycle uh, or five cycles from in between, and then uh, in pairs. So what twenty one minus ten, you are going to get eleven, fine. So similarly, if you are removing ten cycles, then you are going to get twenty one minus twenty. So you are left with one. So finally, you will be left with the c. This equals to i equals to some beta t. Okay, some beta t in which c will be appearing, and this is uh, represent. This is a true cycle and representing an identity. So is it possible? is it not not possible because suppose for example it is of the form 1 2 then 1 is going to 2 and 2 is going to 1 but uh, for identity we need to have every element fixed okay so this uh, the, so uh, in this way we got uh, some contradiction okay uh, i think example i have explored yesterday example i have given uh, for this process Uh, I have taken one, two, three. I think one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then suppose this is alpha, 
and of course this is going to be identity because uh, three elements uh, this is a three cycle and then uh, order is going to be three okay so for example you can write one three and one two and then again one three and one two one three and one two okay so you can take any element uh, you can take three so you will see that a three is not appearing here this is the first cycle where three is appearing you can take one but in that case you have to be here only okay uh, you you can start from here but let us if you want if you want to take three so uh, if you want to take three then you need to multiply these two okay so what is the possibility for one two and one three how you can write you have to write so that a three comes in this one not in the right one okay so how you have written one three and then two three yesterday we have written like this i guess hello so you can replace one three and then a one two and then we have one three again so replace this by this one so that uh, i don't know uh, let me see uh, we have written two three here or what uh, yesterday We need to check really uh, because we need to remove this one. OK, we, we need not to have three here. We need to have three only here. OK, uh, let us see how we can. Uh, just a minute. Uh, I think uh, we can write this. Uh, uh, one is fixed and two, three is there. So one, two and one, three is there. So we can write them CD first, one, three first, and then uh, we write, we can write, I think, uh, uh, DY or what? DY, I think. Okay, so I think uh, D, not DY, I mean two, three. So we cannot take uh, three, I think, here initially. We can take uh, other element, not three. Okay, so let us uh, try to get try to take a, some other pair and then later on we can take uh, some other element or uh, else we can write uh, in some other way I think it is not work okay just to wait so if you if i take uh, these two we can if we are if we are taking these two and we are taking one so one three and one two we can write like this so how one two we can write and then uh, in another bracket we can write three two so we can replace it one three and one two okay and then uh, one three and one two is there so let us replace it with this one one is not appearing in the rightmost so one two will be coming here and then we have three two so you see C D kind of thing that what we have taken in this uh, in the in the proof. OK, so one three is there, one two is there and then one three is there. OK, so this is going to be give give us identity this one and then we are left with three two and then you can take this two. OK, uh, of course uh, here in this uh, one is uh, appearing here only. OK, so no need to take this one in the right hand side. This this will fix one. OK, so you can take this one and once you are taking this one, so you will be left with one, three and then one, two and then uh, sorry, this will be one, three and there will be two, three and a three, two. So two, three, three, two are nothing but the same. They are inverse of each other, in fact, and one, three, one, three will also give identity. OK, so identity, identity, this is going to be identity. Fine. So this is how we have proceeded in a proof. Uh, just a minute. Uh, I think of here. OK, let us. Uh, so one more thing, uh, let us. Uh, uh, let us see. Now we will talk about uh, we will discuss about uh, alternating group. Alternating group. Uh, 
alternative groups. Uh, you know that uh, the group of permutation on n symbols SN contains even permutation or odd permutation. Uh, sorry, and, and odd permutation. It contains both permutation even and uh, odd permutation. So question is that whether uh, what kind of uh, interesting subgroups we can extract from it. OK, so the subgroup uh, subgroups of uh, SN. Uh, one of famous subgroups are of SN are AN and these are called alternating groups. OK, and it contains even permutations of SN. OK, even permutations of SN. So and uh, why it is so? Because uh, uh, what about odd if we, if we keep odd permutations only? Then uh, you know that uh, if you multiply two odd permutations, uh, then we may get even permutation. So that may not you know, fetch a group to us. OK. Fine. So that's why and even permutation, if you multiply them, then you are going to get again even permutation so that there is a possibility that uh, this uh, alternating group that is a collection of all even permutation forms a group. OK. Uh, the group of the group of even permutation permutations uh, of n symbols n symbols is uh, denoted by an and is called the alternating alternating group okay alternating group so next theorem is that uh, 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 that is uh, sn we denote uh, the group of permutations okay all permutations all permutations okay so a n a collection of even permutations even permutations so uh, of course you know that uh, uh, we know that uh, we know that the order of s n is uh, n factorial so n factorial is going to be even or odd for some fixed n. Anyone? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Is it even or odd? Hello. No answer. <laughs> Uh, actually, this is going to be one, two, three, four, and you know that uh, uh, there are even numbers in this product, so th this is going to be even only. Fine. So this is the order of this uh, S n, and uh, we have uh, a result that uh, order of A n is nothing but n factorial by two. So theorem is that. For uh, n greater than one, order of a n equals to n factorial by two. Okay. So let us. Uh, this is a very short proof. So let us see proof. We know that uh, uh, order of s n is equals to n factorial. And uh, SN contains both uh, even and odd permutations. Even and odd permutations. Fine. 
and of course uh, you should note that uh, no permutation in sn can be even as well as odd okay uh, let alpha and beta be distinct distinct odd permutations odd permutations then If this is an odd permutation, uh, then uh, uh, one two where one two are symbols in uh, S N, okay, on which S N is defined, okay. So here we have alpha never equals to one two beta, fine. Of course, you can prove that A N is a sub A N is a group. Thing is that we did not prove uh, that uh, an is a group. Okay, you can try it out. There is no problem. But you know that uh, in group cancellation law holds. Okay, so if uh, they are equal, then in that case uh, alpha becomes beta. Alpha becomes beta. So that is a. Uh, uh, but uh, this is a contradiction because we have chosen alpha beta as distinct odd permutations. Okay, so it, uh, then this they are not equal. And one to alpha and uh, one to and beta are are because this is odd permutation. This is also odd permutation, and you are multiplying them with one single permutation. It means they are even permutations. Even permutations. Permutations. It means what? Uh, therefore. Corresponding to corresponding to uh, distinct distinct uh, odd permutations we are getting distinct. Even permutations, even permutation. Similarly, uh, if uh, alpha and beta be even permutation, even permutations. Then one two and uh, alpha uh, one two beta be distinct odd permutations distinct odd permutations. Okay, so that's. Uh, um, this corresponding to each corresponding to distinct uh, even permutations we are getting distinct Odd permutations. Okay, so uh, as many as we odd per uh, we have odd permutations, that many have we have even permutations. Okay, and uh, conversely also. Fine. In two ways we have established this one. It means what? This means. This means uh, number of odd and even permutations in SN are same. That is, uh, therefore, the number of elements in SN uh, in AN 
this is the collection of even permutation is equals to n factorial by 2. So this is. Uh, this completes the proof. And for example, if you if you want, you can take it like this. Uh, you can take a suppose if you are talking about S4, so S4 is 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 24. So therefore, in A4 contains element 12. OK, S3, we have S3. So there are elements, how many elements? Six elements, OK? And then uh, order of A3 is what? three, fine. Uh, you can uh, jot, you can write down uh, elements in A3 also. Uh, before that, we can write uh, S3 elements in S3. So what are they? Identity 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 3, 2. Okay. So these are elements. Of course, this is not uh, even. This, this is odd. This is odd. This is odd. This is even. And they are even permutations. So A3 have uh, identity and then 1, 3, 2 and 1, 2, 3. You know these uh, 1, 3, 2 and 1, 2, 3, uh, they are even permutation, you know, because uh, 1, 2, 3, you can write uh, like 1, 3 and 1, 2. So this is the product of odd uh, even number of transpositions. Similarly, you can write also 1, 3, 2. This is equals to 1, 2 and then 1, 3. OK, so this is even. this means this is even this is even. Ah, and of course, identity we just now proved that identity permutation is an even permutation. Fine. With this, uh, uh, we will conclude discussion for today. Thank you for watching this video. To stay updated, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cosmos Learning. Happy learning through Cosmos Learning. To watch more, click on any of these cards. Thank you once again.